welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia, or Whimsy Alley around the internet, and today I wanted to tackle the topic of con crunch. This is the period of time leading up to, and most often a week or so before a convention, where a cosplayer is frantically trying to finish their cosplay or multiple cosplays. What I wanted to dive into today are two things. One, why we subject ourselves to con crunch, and also strategies to avoid it. Oftentimes we commit ourselves to a group cosplay at a convention, or make a big announcement on social media that we're debuting something big and exciting at the next one, or, and then we've backed ourselves into this self-imposed corner. It doesn't help our mindset either when well-known or professional cosplayers talk about their con crunch. Our social media feeds are often inundated with people stressing about finishing this or that in time. This ropes cosplayers, myself included, into this mindset that we need to push ourselves to finish it, or feeling like, look what she finished in two weeks, why can't I do that? This compounds the stress we are already under and can put a bad feeling around an event that is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. This mindset is something I'm actively working on unlearning, and I, tell, I have to tell myself, my own pace is fine for me. Now, this is a hard truth, and I've had to face it myself before, and I'm just gonna say it here now. In most cases, con crunch is directly a result of our own procrastination or poor time management. I'm expecting people to defend themselves here. I know I did. With saying, oh, but I do my best work under pressure. Or, but Alicia, my schedule is so busy. Or, big life event just happened. But do we really work well under pressure? Or is it that we just enjoy the rush of finishing a big project in a little amount of time? I know that was the case for me. And I know for a fact that there's things I could have done way better on certain projects that I rushed on, and so I have regrets about that, both during and after the convention. And about being too busy. We're all busy, so it just boils back down to time management. And time management is not naturally, naturally built into most people. It's a skill to be practiced and improved upon. Lastly, I'm not unsympathetic to big life events or unexpected delays in schedule. Sometimes things just happen that are out of our control, but sometimes that means you need to adjust your schedule or move your deadline. Now that we've got that stuff out of the way though, let's talk about some strategies to avoid con crunch altogether. It's important I say this, don't feel like you have to have a con crunch because it's so normalized. I get that you don't want to let friends down or feel like a failure, but it's important to prioritize your own health over cosplay. There's only one of you, but there will be other opportunities to finish and wear your cosplay. Everyone works differently, but these are a few general tips I've found work well for me. One, make a calendar or schedule of things that need to happen to finish the cosplay. For example, if the convention is in six weeks, break it down into smaller chunks, like smaller weekly deadlines for, you know, say the wig has to be done by this week, you know, that piece of armor has to be done by mid next week, you know, things like that. Two, tackle more complicated projects first, especially if it's a new skill you're going to be learning. That way you have time to adjust and later and work quickly on things that you are more comfortable with. Three, here is a helpful tip from my husband. Sometimes rushing things make them take longer. Basically, take your time and do it right the first time so you don't have to waste time remaking it. Four, this seems obvious, but I'm just gonna throw it in here anyways. Multitask. Can you be sewing or building the next piece of your prop or cosplay while well, paint dries or glue cures on another piece? But don't multitask by watching TV or movies. This is fine if you're working on something easy or taking a night to relax, but 
if you've given yourself a strict deadline, this type of multitasking is a little too distracting. Five, lastly, move your phone or other distractions to a separate room if possible. Make chunks of time where you work uninterrupted, then take a small break and check your phone or social media as a reward for getting work done. I work well very reward-based, so if I can accomplish a small goal, then I can reward myself with either checking my phone or a little snack, just something fun and easy. Alright, I think that about covers it. Just to recap, Kong Crunch has become so normalized, but I think we get so caught up in that that we forget to just have fun and enjoy ourselves. So hopefully these tips can help you like they have for me. With a little time management and removing distractions, we can finish all our cause plans. Do you have any tips you think I should add to this video? Leave a comment down below so I can check it out. However, if you do find yourself facing con crunch, because I know it can still happen despite our best efforts, I'll be releasing another video soon on how to deal with the con crunch and get through it in one piece. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!